Before we take a break, let's go to our timeline quiz. Welcome to our timeline quiz. It's now time for our timeline quiz. In this year, the United Nations elected Belgian Foreign Minister M. Paul Henry Spock as President of the General Assembly. The UN also banned the use of atomic bombs and other weapons of mass destruction. As we all know, the United Nations is an international organization that works for world peace. The unforgettable bikini had made a sensation throughout the world during this year. This new bathing costume, nicknamed Bikini, was named after the island site of the explosion test in specific because the bikini and the bomb have a similar explosive effect. Nobody can ever forget Winston Churchill's famous Iron Curtain speech that also happened in this year. The Iron Curtain that he talked about was a policy of separation that contained control and restrictions on travel. It blocked communication and the free exchange of ideas between the USSR and the rest of the world. Also in this year, Mrs. Ida Eisenhower, General Dwight D. Eisenhower's mother died. Her sons gave the house to the Eisenhower Foundation after living there for almost 48 years. As you know, Dwight D. Eisenhower was a famous, well-known general that could work well with people and make effective plans. One of his famous plans was the invasion on France on D-Day. So, what year did all this happen? 1942, 1946, or 1949? The answer when World to Date returns. is mostly related to World War II, from women and minority groups to the making of the computers. There is also the Land Lease Act, which should allow for the U.S. to help the countries against the Axis powers, like the Great Britain and the Soviet Union. Now, this decade had had fun, music, and entertainment too, and not just war. Our correspondent Melanie Nikolas is going to show us a report on the evolution of music in the 40s. Mel? Glenn Miller was born on March 1, 1904, in a town called Karenda. Glenn was in the football team, but that wasn't only his interest. He was also interested in new music called dance band music. Glenn and some of his friends that then decided to make their own band. After his graduation, he decided that he was going to be a professional musician. Glenn had numerous band record orchestras when he went to LA. He joined Ben Pollock Orchestra, a band noted for finding talented musicians. Then, on 1937, Glenn decided to organize his own band and also to fulfill his dream. In the fall of 1939, his band, his band began a series of radio broadcasts on Chesterfield cigarettes. Thereafter, the band was constant in demand. It appeared in two films. More than wanted to serve the people in uniforms like the Navy. He soon became captain of the Army Specialist Corps. In December 1944, Miller died when his small plane headed to Paris, France, disappeared over the English Channel during, during bad weather. The exact circumstances of his death have never been determined. Glenn Miller will, uh, will be remembered for many things. He means a good guy, showmanship, hard work, perseverance, and much more. Another famous singer was Frank Sinatra. He was once a hard working and devoted boy who wanted to be de famous and he was once a hard working and devoted boy who wanted to be famous and all of his hard work and efforts wasn't a waste. Now he is the voice of music. Born in Hoboken, New Jersey on December 12, 1915, Frank Sinatra grew up and learned how to be a dedicated 
had to be dedicated to become famous. He started singing little bars and saloons. Some people called him the best singer of all time because he took his small performances so seriously. Sinatra's way of crooning a romantic ballad was, had set him apart from other, fa other male vocalists. His career started when he dropped out of high school to focus on music. Sinatra's big break was when he joined Harry James Band in 1939. This band made Sinatra noticed by big names in the music industry. He, jo he joined the Tommy Dorsey Orchestra as a lead singer in 1940, and this is when he developed his crooner style of singing. In 1942, Sinatra became a solo artist. Because of recording band at the time, Sinatra was forced to make his name using 50-minute radio bits. Sinatra sang as if he was in front of thousands of people in Radio City Music Hall. Sinatra's career was a surprising start because he was very popular with teenage girls. The fans that were teenage girls were called Bobby Sausage. They called him the voice. Thanks, Melanie. By the end of the World War II, Truman, our new president, made some reform programs known as Fair Deal. Let's hear it from Avira Abbas. Truman was sure that Americans supported his policies. He suggested a series of reform programs that became known as the Fair Deal. The Fair Deal was supposed to provide full employment, a higher minimum wage, and a national health insurance plan. Truman also called for more affordable housing, greater social security benefits, and aid for farmers. Congress accepted some very reforms, such as expanding social security and raising the minimum wage. But Congress rejected some civil rights laws, federal aid to education, and the national health insurance program. But other acts provided billions of dollars for domestic improvements and the GI Bill of Rights. This government spending helped to maintain the post-war. In 1949, countries from North America and Western Europe signed a treaty known as the National Atlantic Treaty Organization. Let's hear more from Newman Reyes. Newman? April 4, 12 countries from North America and Western Europe have signed a treaty to form the New Peace Alliance, known as the North Atlantic Treaty Organization or NATO. This treaty means that if one country is attacked, the others will come to help save it. The purpose of this treaty is to make the attack or by the Soviet Union less likely to happen. And now here at NATO headquarters, up to the studio. Thanks, Neiman. The end of the decade is fast approaching. The 1940s started with World War II and will end with the starting of another, which is a Cold War. Let's hear the opinion of a specialist in political and military aspects in wars. Let's call on Kat Katsutula. 